Having developed on legendary playgrounds like New York's Rucker Park, street basketball has quickly gathered a large following around the world, with spectators eager to see tricks and skills not normally possible in the NBA. Back in November, a dream team comprising of some of the USA's legends of street ball arrived in Sao Paulo, Brazil, to help spread the enjoyment of the sport. Well, I mean, basketball will take you everywhere, man. Basketball will take you all over the world, man. I mean, we down here in Brazil, so it's just like kind of like we global ambassadors for the game. Street ball is a different, different atmosphere of basketball, but it still sends the same message, you know, the love of the game. Everything is branching out across the world as far as basketball is, is concerned, so yeah. It's just, you know, another piece of the puzzle to get it all together. With a mouth-watering clash against an all-star Brazilian team that evening, Grayson Boucher, a.k.a. The Professor, will be leading the legends at the blacktop. Truthfully, in street ball, we really don't strategize too much, man. It, you know, everything's on the fly. I know the one thing that we always stress is that we want to run. We want to keep it an up, up pace, up-tempo game, so it's a good show for the fans, and uh, that's to our advantage, you know what I mean? We like to run and gun. And with the professor taking care of business, they hope to turn it on for the crowds. I mean, it's an enjoyable game. Any street ball game you come to is going to be a game unlike ordinary basketball, where it's up-tempo, people are dunking, doing crazy moves, and so forth. The crowd really gets into it. You know, if they appreciate basketball, anybody is going to enjoy it. You know, it's just a lot of fun, a lot of laughter, you know, a lot of action. Should be good. With the morning workouts over, the team were ready to compete against strong opposition. You know, usually wherever we go, we expect a tough match because you know, people are trying to, you know, trying to go with the best, you know what I'm saying, trying to get on. So, um, you know, I always anticipate good competition, whatever the case. There are the best in the world, but our team now has the experience because we played in Harlem, New York. That was an excellent experience for us. And now we know it's going to be heavy going tonight. It's going to be very hard. This is a really big moment for our players. For us to play against the American team is important for our lives, our story, where we came from and what we've experienced. I hope we all win. We're going out there to win. In the opening minutes, there was no doubt about the quality of the Brazilian team. The Brazilian's high-tempo game has the Americans on the rope. It's a huge three-pointer. The legends of the black top struggled to match the Brazilian's flair in the early stages, but the professor kept the scores close with some impressive play. The professor doing his best to halt the Brazilian's charge, and there's another two points for him. However, even with the professor firing on all cylinders, Brazil's Ivo emerged as the crowd's favourite and led his team to a 32-31 lead over the legends at half-time. Ivo has been the player of the game so far. Once again, he's turning on the tricks and the alley-oop. Wow, an amazing play. The game's very exciting, although we expected more from them, to be honest. We always thought that they were the best in the world at street ball, but we've proved to ourselves today that we can compete with them as equals. In the third quarter, the US gradually asserted their dominance, moving ahead and into a two-point lead. The professor attacks down the line, sends it to David Bailey, puts up the alley-oop pass and executed with brilliance by Brandon LeCue. The American superiority finally won through in the fourth as they overcame a valiant Brazilian team, 71 points to 62. Well, they were tough, man, they were tough. I knew coming in here, I'd seen a couple of the guys. I played against them like 2005. So I knew they were going to be tough and they were going to break it, man. It was fun. To be honest, I expected that the game would be much harder for us. But we also knew they were an extremely strong team that marked their opposition well. We studied how their players positioned themselves on the court, and this was fundamental for us to play against them and prove we can be equals. I'm pleased with that. I mean, I got a lot of points. Um, you know, they were playing physical out top. I would have liked to got it to my handles a little bit more, but being it was a close game, we had to close it out with a win. Basketball, man. Anytime I get to play basketball, especially out the country, I love, man. That's what I do.